your question is find the range for functions what they have given fx is equal to x square minus 2 for x belongs to real numbers next fx is equal to x square plus 3 for minus 2 less than equal to x less than equal to 5 next is fx is equal to 3 minus 2 x square for x is less than equal to 2 next fx is equal to 7 minus 3 x square for minus 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 we have to find out what range here you can see this is your domains that means value of x is your domain so these are your domain now we will go for the range one by one you can see what they have given x belongs to the real numbers the real number consists of what plus and minus also hmm? suppose we will take minus one first x is equal to minus one if you substitute this value in fx what you will get you will get fx is equal to minus 1 whole square minus 2. That is equal to what? 1 minus 2. That is equal to minus 1. Next, we will take 1. 1 positive also. Or otherwise we will take 0. So here we will take x is equal to 0. Center of plus and minus. So what you will get fx 0 square minus 2 that is equal to minus 2 next x is equal to 1 we will take x is equal to 1 that is positive side so therefore fx is what <coughs> 1 square minus 2 that is equal to what minus 1 now if you see this this is minus 1, this is minus 1. Hmm? And this is minus 2. So now if you see this, that the x value, what we are getting, if you put minus and plus, you will get the value greater than minus 2 only. Therefore, what is your range? You can check it. If you put x is equal to 2, what you will get? See this, fx is equal to 2 square minus 2. That is equal to what? 4 minus 2. That is equal to 2. That means it is also greater than minus 2. Therefore, your range is what? We can write it as fx. It should be greater than and equal to minus 2. So this is your range comes to your second one what they have given fx is equal to x square plus 3 now we will take x is equal to minus 2 x is equal to minus 2 what is your fx fx is x square that means minus 2 square plus 3 that is equal to 4 plus 3 that is equal to 7 next x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5. So therefore, fx is what? 5 square plus 3. That is equal to 25 plus 3. That is equal to 28. Next. This type of questions, what we have to do? We have to take x is equal to 0 also. That is most important. So here we will take x is equal to 0. If you take x is equal to 0, what you will get fx? That is your 0 square plus 3. That means you will get 3. Now, what is your range now? You can see that. 3, 7 and 28. Therefore, we can say this is minimum and this is your maximum. So, therefore, we can say 3 is less than or equal to fx less than equal to 28 this is your range now 
comes to next one fx is equal to 3 minus 2x square for x is less than equal to 2 now first we will take equal to that means x is equal to 2 so here we will take x is equal to 2 what is your fx you can see 3 minus 2 into 2 square that is equal to 3 minus a that is equal to minus 5 next we will take what 0 x is equal to 0 now fx is what you can see 3 minus this is 0 now that means 3 only Next, we will take x is equal to minus. We will take in minus. Minus 2. So, here you can see fx is nothing but 3 minus 2. And in bracket, it will come minus 2 whole square. That is equal to 3 minus 8. That is equal to minus 5. Minus 5. 3. If you take minus 3, just we have to think, x is equal to minus 3, what you will get of x? 3 minus 2 into minus 3 square, that is equal to 3 minus 18, that is equal to minus 15. Now, you have these values minus 5, minus 15, 3. So what is your range? How we will write the range? So here the range is what? You can see. It should be less than 3. Less than equal to 3. Hmm? Next fx is equal to 7 minus 3x square for minus 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 2. So first we will take x is equal to minus 1. So here if you take x is equal to minus 1 then what is your fx? 7 minus 3 and in bracket minus 1 whole square. That is equal to 7 minus 3. That is equal to 4 now. Now we will take in between this. That is 0. I have already told. We have to take 0. X is equal to 0. So here you will get fx is what? You will get. This is 0. That means you will get 7. This is 4. This is 7. Next we will take x is equal to 2. So what is your fx? That is 7 minus 3 into 2 square. That is equal to what? You can see 7 minus 12. That is equal to we can say it's minus 5. Now compare in these three values. So this is minimum and this is maximum. So here what we have to write? My f minus 5 less than equal to fx less than equal to 7. So this is your range now. 